So here's something you don't see every day. A mixed distro that's based on MixOS. So at the moment, of course, on the channel, I'm doing a lot of stuff that's related to Mix, Package Manager and MixOS. I myself are even using it. And I was really surprised to find such a lack of OSs based on Mix until I found Snowflake OS. Snowflake OS is Nix always based where they have tried to focus on being more user friendly and have easier ease of use. And I actually did some digging on their GitHub and they've been busy with quite a couple of projects at the moment. Their, their installer, their Snowflake ISO modules, uh, Snow, which is a command line wrapper for Nix package manager, a what it looks like a um, theme installer. And all really, really interesting. I mean, even just the command line tool that is a wrapper for MixOS um, packages is quite uh, interesting and quite full on depth. And I thought, well, even though this distro does clearly say it's still quite alpha, we know that MixOS um, it, it gets releases quite often. So I've Go ahead, downloaded the ISO, and now we're going to go ahead and install it. So let's start this up. New virtual machine. Mix a snowflake. Uh, I'm just going to tell it what it is. It's a Nix OS. I'm going to give the about 8 gigs plus or minus of memory. C it's virtual CPU cores 100 gig storage space and let me just call this what it is snowflake os let it start itself up creating it's good to give me the screen and as you can see here normal installer option so what i mean is it's uh definitely based on the no on normal iso image and so it should be easier to install Okay, here we are. So this is obviously the GNOME interface and you can try the OS Live, Advanced Install Basic Install. Let's be fair and do the advanced installation. So we English US, uh, time zone, set choice. Okay, US keyboard is fine. Create a new user, gosh, strong password. And of course, we do not want to have them automatically. And hostname Snowflake OS. The end. And I'm not giving this a read password, so that way we'll do you sitter. And here it gives you the option: Do we want to enable flat pack? So let's do that. Do we want to enable uh, app images? So I'm going to enable that as well. I'm just going to go with the laser. And we're just going to. Format the disk, and we're gonna this is our summary, and we're gonna go next, and next this install. It's hit reboot. That the installation took about fifteen minutes. Let's plug in. No sakes. settings first thing I'm gonna do okay so the about snowflake OS 2311 young Wayland kernel 6.44 cool that's uh I just need to fix this appearance quickly make it dark Perfect. So what do we have here? Default out the box. Well, default out the box. We've got a, uh, again, with the default uh, GNOME, well, GNOME packages, um, very basic uh, default install, just like it is with uh, NixOS. You need to still have the NixOS manual here. And uh, again, 
pretty pretty standard just if you download a thing normal uh, Linux OS GNOME ISO software center like the Nix software center which is based on the GNOME software center and this software center you can actually install on any Nix installation and that is uh, another video that would that I'll show at one point but uh, going to preferences here yeah, you can use Nix Flakes. Uh, that'll be another discussion. And uh, that option is currently disabled. And here you can choose your configuration file if you keep it in a different location. So how does this work? Well, it works just like any other uh, stall. Uh, you find the application you're looking for. So in this case, I'm going to choose Glorock. And here's where it's different. So you can... When it comes to installing software in Mix, remember I mentioned there's two ways of doing it. You can do it uh, per user, and uh, you can have the main system configuration. And uh, at the moment, I still am a fan of system configuration in Linux. This would be the same as if I was opening up the configuration file and going to uh, add it under the rest of the packages. Uh, so I can install this or I can run without installing. I'm just going to hit install. I'm going to authenticate. If you select the option run without install, it is exactly what it will do. It'll uh, get the, the files, uh, run it, and then would not uh, stay on the system. So once it closes it, um, that might have a copy of the binary files, but it's not actually going to physically when you install on your system so great option if you just want to test something out and again you can do that with uh normal mix as well which i'll which we'll go through at some point so while this is busy building the files so just getting it down quickly configuration editor again you can then sort the configuration editor on uh normal mix os another video and here you have options of do you want to use Nix Flakes? I'm not going to right now. Where's the location of the configuration file? And basically what this does here is is pretty much the same as if we were to go add manual edits to the config file. So if I was to off go to programs and I'd click enable some programs from there or I can go to bash and set some settings here so if I wanted to have some shell aliases I would go here um, if I want to let's go through to the environment so these are just so many settings and variables uh, for different things here um, it would be really that's quite a lot to to digest so on the search uh, facility on the website if you go for under the uh, settings portion or the config portion it's this type of stuff that you're going to find so let's say for example you you want uh, CPU frequency to run max uh, it's going to tell you where, where you would add these attributes virtualization so here's one so let's say we want Docker, right? And we want to just enable Docker. Then it's actually, uh, what we would do is we would change this value to true. We'll save the attribute and uh, the system then afterwards would start building up Docker. This OS, of course, you could still do it uh, manually as well. That will kind of defeat the purpose of using uh, this OS. Okay, so this uh, Amarokko stands and patient. The natural old for now. In the meantime, let's get terminal open up. So I can show you what it's been doing. So sudo nano and this way etc mix OS configuration of lace. And if we start to so scroll code on here. Right, you can see that's what it did. 
Um, but add an Amarok and Audacity to this file. So I'm just going to post a file without saving. I'm going to close that and open up Audacity. Ah, here it is. It's Audacity running. Fine. All installed. And of course, if I go hit the delete button and building, we give it a few seconds. And if I was to go back to the file, you'll, you'll see it's already removed it. So that's how it operates. And of course, the other config setting would start adding um, settings here. So here it is. This OS ball world is uh, still in prototype, but the aim is to make NixOS uh, more accessible for for users so that uh, more people can start using it. Uh, I think it's a very interesting uh, thing to use. And now if it gets the name NixOS out there, why not? But so far, some of these you can uh, do yourself in a normal NixOS install. Add these additional pieces of software and you have something that's very similar. Um, but I do look forward to seeing what the future is going to hold for this OS and wish them all the best. And as a place, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.